a long, long time ago when the Italian people were dominant in San Francisco. They built these most beautiful houses, and in a certain light, the buildings are all different wood, you know, wood colors, and the colors of the wood come up in the light at a certain time of day. Just gorgeous. I've always felt like I'm in a, in Europe or a, another part of the world, another time, another place. And I, I don't even go there anymore. Since my friend Lorenzo died in the North Beach restaurant, I don't even go there anymore. I do go see uh, uh, my friend in, in the Pinocchio restaurant. I true, I'm not there much. But I, I'd be remiss not to mention I do love that place. Pinocchio is my new Italian restaurant of choice. Go see Giovanni. He'll give you an extra meatball. I don't know. I haven't been there. I, it's nothing in it. I'm not looking for any kickback. I don't have a, I don't have a Hawaiian shirt. Only those with Hawaiian shirts want the free the freebie under the table. I don't need it, and I don't want it. So there we are. San Francisco is the most beautiful city on earth. I love it. I don't even get into it anymore. The bums, the the, the oh, don't ask. The filth. Why don't they sweep the streets of the bums? Why don't they sweep the bums off the streets once? Can they give us a bum free day? Maybe one day in San Francisco. One day you can walk in the street without being accosted by some low life. Unbelievable to me. It's it's not pleasant to walk around the streets anymore. And the filth, the plain filth, they don't sweep the streets in the city. I'm not going to go into the human body waste in the streets. That's that's disgusting that a city would let that go on. But the actual, I'm talking garbage, just garbage in the streets. It's, uh, it's like a third world city in many ways, but we all love it. We look over the garbage and we live, do the best we can. It's like America itself now is like San Francisco. We overlook the garbage. We overlook the garbage being dumped on us by a liberal government, and we go on with our lives. In plain English, it's, that's, that's what it is. 855 is the phone number. I don't know what I want to do for the rest of the show. I have great sound. There's no point in playing it. You can find the pictures that were banned on my uh, Facebook account on michaelsavage.com. They were captured and reposted there. Facebook is now working hand-in-glove with the... Uh, Obama administration to make certain that anything that is ma that makes the Obama administration uncomfortable is not posted. However, if anyone posts articles such as death to Israel, that apparently meets community standards on Facebook. Yeah, it says death to Israel, they don't take it down. That meets community standards because apparently uh, Jewish patriots don't monitor Facebook, but uh, Muslim fanatics apparently get to uh, go right to the head of the class there, very much like Britain itself. Eight five five four hundred seven. I think I said that fifty three thousand times. I don't know what I want to do with calls, and I don't know. Anybody want to talk to me, Dana, on KKAT Radio? Dana, what's on your mind? Go ahead, please. Uh, Michael, fifteen years ago, my mother was telling me about a uh, Michael Savage on the radio that I just had to listen. That he was talking about New World Order and uh, the Bushes being a part of that. And I said, Mom, you're crazy. That that's not true. That's that's not even that's not even going to happen. She says, I'm telling you, you need to listen. So I, I decided, okay, I listened to one show, and I've been hooked ever since. And I listened well, 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 here, Wait, Dana, of course we all love to hear those kind of calls, but first of all, is your mom still alive, I hope? She is. She's 85, and she's still a listener. Wow, she's still young yet. 85 is not old anymore in this day and age. So she started you listening when she was 70, and you were how old at that time, 35, 40? Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm 59 now. Well, I yeah. did. I've been talking about borders, language, and culture long before others were talking about borders, language, and culture. They were doing Republican, Democrat for 20 years. Mm -hmm. I used to fight it here in uh, Utah. I sat on the Illegal Immigration Commission up at our state capitol, and I fought that for two years. And I was surrounded by a lot of Republicans that didn't want to hear it. They wanted them here, and they were Republicans. Of course, the Republicans want the illegal aliens here for the cheap labor. Isn't that true? That is correct. That is correct. right. In plain English, they want they want them here for the cheap labor, which is why so many Republicans uh, do this. Man, and they're getting war on Christmas. Norwegian parents handed consent form for Christmas traditions in Norway. Now, a Christian nation, it's gotten so bad that the parents who want to celebrate Christmas must get a consent form from the school. Can you believe how far the West has fallen because of weakness and liberalism? Oh, yes. My family's from Norway, so I know all about oh, that. Oh, isn't that odd? Time. 
Look what look what the land the descendants of Vikings have fallen to. What happened to the Norwegian men? Where did they go? What happened to Norwegians again? What happened to Swedish men? Where did they go? These are the, these are the Vikings descendants. Right. That's right. Parents at a Norwegian school were left astounded when the school asked permission for their children to take part in a Christmas ritual in which children dance around a tree singing carols. Some questioned just how much further schools will have to go in a bid to accommodate minorities. This is in a suburban school outside of Oslo. Apparently, they were offending Muslims. Their human rights were offended because they were dancing around a Christmas tree in a Christian nations a nation so in other words multiculturalism has an intent which is to wipe out the cultural foundation of all christian nations under the guise of respect for diversity how long have i been warning you about that how many years have i been saying diversity is really a cover for perversity you know will lead to our demise unless we stop this insanity how long 20 years now right and and you know what i said on this on this local radio station 20 years ago I said that even, I said we need barbs on our berries to survive. Meaning even, I looked at a strawberry under a, a magnifying glass, and even a strawberry has barbs on it to prevent insects from eating the soft flesh of that strawberry. And I said if you take the barbs off a strawberry, the insects will eat it, and if you deball our police, and if you debase our military, they will eat us alive. Was I wrong? I'm 100% right. I'll be back. It's the Savage Nation. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. The Savage Nation is sponsored by SwissAmerica.com, the only company I trust to protect my wealth and financial future. Call 1-800-289-2640. Well, the big story of the day can be found on WND.com and MichaelSavage.com, which is Facebook has censored the Michael Savage post of Muslims protesting. I did not make up those signs. They did. And yet Zuckerberg's minions took down the posting. The statements by these fanatics are shocking, and the world needs to see what they're saying to make sure this never happens. Slay those who insult Islam. Butcher those who mock Islam. Europe, you will pay. Extermination is on the way. The real Holocaust is coming. They're chilling statements. Take a look at the lovely faces of, of peace with the 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 beards uh, with the the signs look for it yourself go ahead go look at it. i didn't make up the picture i didn't make them up so i posted it and facebook took it down it's on michaelsavage.com and wnd nobody else will touch the story you're not going to find it on any of the other sites they will not link to it nobody will touch it it's a huge story i'm censored i'm banned in britain and nobody will touch it You'll not see it on the Drudge Report. You'll not see it on Newsmax. You'll see it nowhere. Nowhere. I am now on the no-go no list everywhere except uh, on my own website and the radio show. It is uh, it is what it is. I mean, I've been an outsider all my life, so if this is what it, it is, what it is. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. So I, I have to rely on the radio show now on my website and my books to get through to you. I'll find another way. Look, if they close me down on Facebook, which could happen, I'll create a new social networking site, which we'll use ourselves. That's we'll create our own site, our own encrypted site. <laughs> I guarantee there'll be five FBI agents assigned to this website. If ISIS created a website in America, the FBI wouldn't look at it. They'd say it's freedom of speech and freedom of us. Uh, it's unbelievable to me how crazy the world is upside down. I have a very clear statement on my Facebook page. It was put up a month ago before the terrorist attacks. It said, any statements of violence, any statements calling for violence will be taken down immediately. I said that before the terrorist attack happened. So they took down my posting of what the Muslims are saying, full of terror and full of hate. Unbelievable to me. Okay, let's get some callers in. Steve, on KSFO, we have three minutes left. What's your point? Go ahead, please. Okay. Dr. Savage, uh, I thank you for taking my call. I live just uh, a little ways away from you. I live in Fremont, and I listen to you all the time, sir. I think highly of you. I'll start with the less personal question first. Carly Fiorina said that Hillary Clinton will mop the floor with Donald Trump. Shouldn't she show us 
how Hillary Clinton will do that right now while she's uh, contending for the uh, uh, Republican nomination with Donald well, I, I would say this. Fiorina is a no-show. She's got no traction. No one likes her. She's not a real contender. She's a marginal outlier. She's, a, she's a threatened by Trump. And the fact of the matter is Hillary Clinton will fall if she runs because Trump's machine will expose her for having created the Arab Spring, which created the entire refugee crisis, which is flooding the entire world. Hillary Clinton caused this crisis. Trump is the only man who will be able to say it. Please go to the next question. Time is short. Uh, Dr. Savage, the uh, last question is, have you been shying away from Donald Trump lately? And if so, I can understand why. I have been, and I'll tell you why. Tell me why you think I have been. Dr. Savage, I imagine for some of the same wild and outrageous reasons why I'm shocked and amazed uh, now and then, but, you know, we get through it. No, I, I, do it for an, I do it for another. It's not because of what Trump says that I don't spend three hours a day licking his boots. It's because I am not in business to promote Donald Trump. I've been in the radio business 21 years. This show is not supposed to be a, a, a megaphone for any candidate. And when any radio show becomes a megaphone for a single candidate, what does that tell you about the show and the host? You are right, Dr. Savage. You are an equal opportunity uh, show host. There you well, go. that's right. I mean, I, the truth is it, it doesn't interest me to talk about one man three hours a day. And I won't do it. I tried today to not talk about Donald Trump, nor about Muslims. It was almost impossible because that's all that the news is reporting. So the fact is, is that we, we walked away from it in hour number three. I respect Donald Trump. I would vote for Donald Trump. I support Donald Trump. But I'm not going to talk about him three hours a day until the election. I won't do it. I'd like to make it a much broader show than that. I can't make myself just be a, a PR agent for Donald Trump. I'm sending you a Christmas gift, Government Zero. I hope you celebrate Christmas. If you celebrate Kwanzaa, then it's for Kwanzaa. If you celebrate Hanukkah, it'll arrive for the eighth night of Hanukkah, Government Zero. Although I doubt very much that it's very popular in that latter community. After what we talked about the Bible yesterday, I don't know how many religious Jewish people listen to me anymore, probably none. But I'm sorry, I, you know, I look at all religions with a kind of jaundiced eye right now. I must tell you the truth.